Oh yeah, I got a fish on. That took me uh, all of two minutes on the water. <laughs> That's a nice ready. There we go. Two minutes on the water and uh, first fish in the boat. Well, I've got to say I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, did a little trial for about 20 meters and bang, fish on. <laughs> Let's go catch some more, hey? It's actually starting to rain, which I was sort of hoping wasn't going to happen. But, oh well, fishing's fishing. Let's go catch some more. Beautiful looking fish. Off he goes. Yep. <laughs> all I was doing there, this is a very small ready, but all I was doing there is just casting out, letting it drop down, giving it a couple of pops. And raising it up again. And I saw the line go a bit tight on this one and got him. <laughs> yeah, there's a little school just between the trees under the bridge. Pretty much the same size as the other one. Are you the same? Are you the same fish? Do you have a hole? No. Oh, geez, that's uh, right in there. <laughs> that fish just hit as soon as it dropped on that edge. Oh, now he's back on it again. Yeah. <laughs> Came back three times. Oh, there's like six of them followed him up there. Nice little ready there. <laughs> Under the bridge. Hey, bud. I reckon I can get another one. Yep. <laughs> Straight away, these are real schooling fish, and if they're there, you're just going to keep catching them. <laughs> Three in a row just there. Oh, spat it. Yep. <laughs> See how many I can get in a row.
Yep. <laughs> no matter how long you go fishing. Oh, well, no matter how long I go fishing, I always seem to be surprised when I catch a fish. Which is uh, quite unusual, considering you're out there trying to bloody catch the things. They really like it under this bridge. Yep. Open him out. Oh, he likes it. He doesn't even want to let go. He's not even hooked. Oh, there we go. Just uh, reposition myself a little bit. Pedals are great for that. This is great. <laughs> so, uh, well, fish after fish after fish, that's all I can really say. It's really good when you find a little school like this. Wish they were a bit bigger though. Yeah, another one just like that. <laughs> but, um, these redfin, European perch, um, common perch over in England, I think they're called as well. They're just uh, these vicious predators that they brought over from England back in, I think, 1960 uh, for a sports fish. And, well, now most of our freshwater waterways freshwater waterways freshwater waterways yeah i think that makes sense most of our freshwater waterways have a ton of these things in them now a lot of people i thought that was I thought that was going to be the first cast of the fish uh, too busy talking to you so one just got off just there but the europeans brought them over to uh, have a sports fish over here that they used to. And a lot of people actually go out there and chase them now because they're actually half decent feed for a freshwater fish. Um, <laughs> so it's really great. Oh, you had that down there a bit. So it's um, really quite good to go out there and take a feed of them because not only are you helping the environment a bit but you're getting a good feed now the ones i'm catching are a bit small for me to go and fill at them and i don't just want to kill them to kill them um even if uh, they are a bit of a introduced feral species over here but if i catch a few decent ones they're coming home they're going in my tummy <laughs> It took a while to get a um, cast back without a fish there. Gonna crack into this school a bit more. Then I hate to leave a school to find a school, but I do want a bigger fish. So I've just marked up a few bigger fish because um, they're just showing up a bit brighter on the Laurents I've got. Um, reckon it's a plastics job. They're sitting just off a tree just up there.